hello we're going to take a quick look at the umi iron this is a budget smartphone but it's got really good specs on it it's called the iron because it's uh, metal clad so this section here is metal it's quite lightweight uh, despite this metal on the back and you can also see little rivets down the side which is a nice design touch you don't actually notice these when you're holding it in the hand but they do look pretty cool in the hand it's nice and light on the front of the phone you'll see labeled up the proximity sensor the front camera receiver and a flashlight, volume rocker and power, that's just a sticker that will come off, I'll take that off in a minute so you can see the screen. On the top you've got the headphone socket, on the right hand side you've got a dual SIM slot or a SIM and micro SD slot, USB on the bottom, volume rocker and power on the right. This is very interesting technology, I've not seen this before, this is an eye scanner, so you have to set this up before you can use it. You scan your eyes several times, it takes a while to set up, as you can see here it's taking quite a while to do the first scan and then you also set a secondary system to unlock so in my case a pattern unlock and then when you want to unlock your phone you can simply stare at it and it unlocks if however it fails if someone's trying to use it or whatever you then have to type in or swipe your pattern password the eye unlock is an interesting system but it's a bit slow out of the box this is running android 5.1 and it comes pre-rooted it's very slick in the interface and of course being pre-rooted or even just Android you can install as many different launchers or different types of interfaces as you like. The camera on this is a Sony camera I think that's a great decision because it's a great camera I found it to be very responsive and produce really nice photos nice colors and the 5.5 inch screen is really good to review these on so on the back you've got a 13 megapixel camera that also has a flash if you want to use this in low light and as well as the photos being pretty good, the video quality is also very good. So this is just a little bit of action chasing a very black cat. And as you can see, it's very detailed, very smooth, very happy with the rear-facing camera. Now, on this, there's a front-facing camera as well. And what's interesting is there's actually a flash. So you get an 8 megapixel front-facing camera with a flash, making this a great phone if you're into selfies. Gameplay-wise, I found this is one area where the phone struggled a little bit. Although it plays the game perfectly fine, it wasn't as smooth or as fluid as other budget and mid-range smartphones I've tried. And this was on both this Asphalt 8 and also on this first-person shooter, Modern Combat. Uh, both perfectly playable, but not quite the same smooth experience you might expect from an octa-core processor. The rear-facing speaker does a good job in this instance though, it's uh, really nice and clear and the screen size means your hands don't get in the way of the action. Overall then, for the price, this is a cracking phone. The front-facing flash is something very different. The eye scanner is a bit of a gimmick, you're probably not going to use it too much, but overall for the price, you're getting a great phone. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.